In the depths of dusty archives and forgotten tales, a startling revelation emerges. The Old West, that legendary era of outlaws and lawmen, holds dark secrets that will send shivers down your spine. Brace yourself as we unveil the terrifying facts about the Old West that have long been concealed in the shadows. From ghostly apparitions that haunt abandoned ghost towns to chilling encounters with notorious gunslingers, prepare to embark on a journey that will test your courage and challenge what you know about the untamed frontier. So, brace yourself to have a wild ride through history where danger is screaming through every corner and turn of the Old West. Number one, the untamed wilderness of the Old West was a canvas upon which hope and dread were painted. From the 16th to 19th century, it was a part of Spain. Regions like Florida and the southwestern United States included California, Arizona, Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado, and Texas. All of these regions were under the dominance of New Spain. It was an age of exploration and expansion, where pioneers sought fortune and freedom amidst harsh landscapes and dangerous journeys. Number two, during such periodical drama in 1819, Florida was relinquished and transferred to the United States. Other regions of the Old West followed the lead in 1848 after the Mexican-American War. Among all the ongoing drama, some areas were moving either toward Mexico or reaching an agreement with the United States. Yet as settlers carved out their lives in this vast unknown, they were met with challenges that would test their spirits. Native American tribes, displaced from their ancestral lands, struggled against the tide of encroachment, leading to clashes of culture, belief, and power. Number three, during such events, camels were found roaming in Texas. This might sound slightly off the chart, but the U.S. Army imported camels from the Middle East, primarily from regions such as Egypt and Turkey, for transport supplies and goods across the arid and challenging terrain of the desert Southwest, particularly in areas like Arizona and New Mexico. At that time, camels were seen as potentially superior to traditional pack animals like horses and mules in terms of their ability to carry heavy loads, endure long journeys without water, and navigate rugged terrains. The program began in the 1850s under the leadership of Lieutenant Edward F. Beale. Even though camels were tested in various expeditions and missions, where they demonstrated some advantages in the harsh desert conditions, the program faced challenges including the unfamiliarity of American handlers with camel behavior and the skepticism of military personnel. Ultimately, the outbreak of the Civil War in the early 1860s led to the abandonment of the Camel Corps experiment. The camels were sold off, and the program did not continue after the war. While the Camel Corps did not achieve lasting success, it remains an exciting and unique chapter in American history highlighting the innovative approaches to address transportation challenges in the western frontier. Number four. As the sun dipped below the horizon, a different aspect of the Old West emerged, a realm where justice often wore a mask of vengeance. Even they turn ordinary disputes into notable events. Such scenarios gave birth to remarkable outlaws. Wild Bill Hickok, whose real name was James Butler Hickok, was a legendary figure of the American Old West known for his skills as a gunfighter, lawman, and gambler. Even though he had experienced his share of fights, the remarkable battle in the Old West's dual history is with Davis Tutt. A typical dispute turned into a vigorous war on July 21, 1865. Even though Tutt fired first, he met with the ultimate misery. Number five, the stories of infamous outlaws like Jesse James and Billy the Kid are well documented their exploits weaving a narrative of lawlessness and rebellion. However, beneath the surface of their daring escapades lay the stark reality of lives cut short, families torn apart, and communities living in perpetual fear. The infamous gunfights at places like the OK Corral revealed a chilling truth. The line between hero and villain was often blurred, and the unsettling notion that justice could be dictated by the cold metal of a six-shooter. Number six, like other outlaws, Elmer McCurdy tried to have a name. He was a small-time criminal and unsuccessful outlaw who gained notoriety after his death. McCurdy's criminal endeavors were marked by incompetence and bad luck, and he was quickly captured and killed during a shootout with law enforcement in Oklahoma in 1911. 
Following his death, McCurdy's body was embalmed with an arsenic-based solution and displayed at a funeral home, where visitors were charged a fee to view his preserved remains. For years, his mummified corpse was exhibited as a sideshow attraction, often labeled as the bandit who wouldn't give up. McCurdy's body passed through various hands in carnivals, sometimes used as a prop in horror films until it eventually ended up at the Pike, an amusement zone in Long Beach, California, where it was found out this prop was nothing but a well-preserved corpse. Number seven, tales of restless spirits and inexplicable occurrences ignited the imagination, leaving us to ponder the boundaries between reality and the unknown. The darkness of the Old West was not confined to the realm of humanity alone. Beyond the saloons and dusty trails, whispers of the supernatural permeated the air. Ghost towns, their dilapidated structures echoing with the ghosts of their former inhabitants, stood as eerie reminders of lives once lived. Legends of cursed gold mines and haunted canyons cast an ominous pall over the land as if the very earth itself bore witness to the tragedies that unfolded. The gold rush is nothing new in the history of the Old West as, from time to time, its inhabitants have found out about gold mining in the vast arid amidst all the chaos. The first one was found by Conrad Reed, a little boy farming in their own family's fields, when he saw a yellow stone. The color was unique, so he showed it to his parents, but they needed to be more knowledgeable regarding rocks. Due to its captivating feature, they put it as a showpiece until a few years later, a jeweler confirmed it as gold. From that moment on, Reed dedicated himself to mining more gold and earned a fortune throughout his alive era. Number eight, regarding the gold rush, California is one of the most notable. James Wilson Marshall was at that time engaged in constructing a sawmill along the American River. While working, his staffers found gold dust near the shore and collected it with a bottle. When the news spread near and far, people rushed to that place. Number nine, the culture of violence in the American West was not a single narrative, but a multifaceted phenomenon influenced by various factors. The rapid westward expansion during the 19th century brought together an eclectic mix of individuals seeking fortune, freedom, and new beginnings. This convergence of diverse backgrounds and beliefs laid the groundwork for clashes that often erupted into violence. As pioneers, ranchers, and prospectors staked their claims to land and resources, conflicts over territory, water rights, and grazing lands escalated, frequently culminating in armed confrontations. Yet, perhaps the most unsettling aspect of the Old West lies in the untold stories, the narratives relegated to the shadows of history, the lives of marginalized communities, including African Americans, Chinese immigrants, and indigenous peoples, often go unnoticed in the grand tapestry of the era. These forgotten voices paint a different picture of oppression, discrimination, and systemic violence. The chilling reality of lynching and racially motivated attacks reveals the grim underbelly of a society grappling with its own demons. Number 10. Uncovering the terrifying truths of the Old West is not an exercise in sensationalism, but a solemn reflection on the complex tapestry of human experience. It serves as a reminder that beneath the veneer of legend and folklore, real lives were lived, real pain was endured, and genuine fear was felt. To delve into the past is to acknowledge the duality of history, a reminder that the past is not a monolith, but a mosaic of stories waiting to be heard. In conclusion, the Old West beckons us to peer beyond the surface, lift the veil of nostalgia, and confront the shadows that linger beneath. It is a realm of contradictions, where the allure of adventure intertwines with the horrors of a society grappling with its own darkness. From the clash of cultures to the echoes of ghostly whispers, the Old West invites us to explore its enigmatic depths and uncover the mysteries that have long remained buried. In doing so, we honor the lives of those who came before, bearing witness to their triumphs and tribulations, and weaving a richer, more nuanced understanding of history's intricate tapestry. What do you think of the video? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.